CustomTactiles.com here, and the knife I'm looking at today is a Darren Shard handmade piece. Um, this is a, a piece I picked up from Darren at the uh, Canadian Knife Makers Guild show a little while back. Um, it's a little bit of uh, yellowing on the blade. I think there might be a slight oxidation on it. I uh, might have to take a look at that. Um, but uh, the, he, he, he's done something here. It's like an orange peel finish that he's, he's quite proud of. He developed some sort of method to get an orange peel finish here. And uh, as you can see here, there's some Timascus bolsters which blend into the blue here. It's almost, uh, it's quite uh, quite subtle to switch over here. A very cool look. really liked this piece when I saw it on this table. I just had to pick it up. I tried to get him to do me a custom piece, but he said he wasn't doing those customs anymore. And he just wanted to make what he wanted to make and so you know I saw this and I liked it uh, jeweling on the inside of liners that he like he always does his titanium is always super super flush and perfect here um, some interesting sort of raised foul work titanium bolster here I guess it's foul work that he's uh, polished down so that it sort of uh, it's raised but it uh, but there's no sharp edges, so it's quite comfortable if you want to hold it. This is probably one of the most comfortable folders that I've ever gotten from Darren. He, he, he tends to not have the best ergonomics on his folders. Um, fit and finish are, are, are second to none. I mean, they're amazing. He's actually gotten better uh, over the years. Uh, some of the early folders I have from him are, are I mean, they're fantastic, but they, they seem like they get even better. Um, like this one here is, is just... Is, is, just done so well. The little uh, opal or something there in, inlaid. It's not an opal. It must be a. I'm not sure. Maybe it is an opal inlaid in the thumb stud there. Not sure what kind of gem that is. Um, but just great, great fit and finish. The action is smooth. The lock up is tight. Just amazingly made. Hopefully, we'll see more from Darren. Uh, in the years to come because I, I really like his work um, so let's uh, get a quick look at this one I don't, I don't know if he has a name for this folder uh, tape I'm not sure if he has a name for this folder just got that uh, slight drop point blade on it and pretty uh, generic look nothing that stands out too much so we got about three and three and three quarter inch blade and about eight and a quarter inch overall full flat grind um, uh, most of his knives in the past were, were 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 flat grinds as well. I've seen some I've seen some hollow grinds from him, but uh, he's he sort of switched it around a little bit. Um, um, and sorry, uh, most of the knives before were hollow grind. And now the later few knives I saw him were all flat grinds. So maybe he's just going for a different look. The signature here on the blade. Beautiful piece. So I hope you guys enjoy the review. Have a good one.